Hi, my name is Matthew Murray, lead analyst of components and DIY for PCMag.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install hard drives and solid state drives in your desktop computer. There are a few different ways to do this depending on what kind of case you have, and we're going to go through all of them. The first thing to do is remove the side panel of your case, as we've already done here. That will give you access to the inside of your computer where you can install the drives. Most cases on the market today use a tool-free mechanism to keep the drives in place. If you have one with a removable bracket, all you need to do is pull off the bracket, insert the drive so that the holes in the side of the drive are visible, then replace the bracket, pushing the posts on it through the holes in the drive to hold it in place. That's all, and you're done. So we've shown you how to install a three and a half inch hard drive in your desktop computer case, but what if you have a two and a half inch hard drive or a solid state drive like this one here? You can do that too, but the situation is a little bit different. In this particular case, you're going to install the drive in the floor of the case by screwing it in from the bottom. So some cases like this one have removable hard drive trays or caddies that make it even easier to install three and a half inch drives in your case. To use them, just remove the tray. In this case, you're going to squeeze the sides and pull it out. Then put the drive into the tray with the ports facing the back and replace the tray like so. And that's all there is to it. If you want to use one of the drive trays for two and a half inch drives, you can do that too. The difference here is that it's too big to actually hold the drive by itself, so you need to screw it into place. But once you do that, you can put the tray back into the case just as with the larger drives and you're ready to go. Now, some older or less expensive cases may not have tool-free retention systems for the drives, so you're going to have to screw them in manually. That's very easy to do. Just take the drive, slide it into the drive well with the ports facing out once again and then screw it into place and that's it uh, for more tips on building your own computer check out pcmag.com